Hello everyone. Um, long time no see, like long, long, long time no see. Um, I know I've been gone for more than two years, so I sincerely apologize for that. And I've just been busy with life, with family, with my son, and job and everything. And then, as you guys can see, over the years, I've I haven't changed much. I was I've gained some weight. That's pretty much you know one of the obvious things you guys can see. But I mean. I don't care that much. I don't care that much. So, um, um, I think starting from now, you know, the spring is here, and I did get some quite some new bags um, to my collection, and also got rid of um, some of them that I no longer use anymore. So I'll just be I'll just be slowly, um, you know, talking through my bags one by one. I guess today I just want to be talking about a very um, kind of hot it bag um, at the moment and it is the Chloe Faye and I have the large size. I love this bag. I just I just love 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 this bag. This is one of the best design that I think um, Chloe, well not only Chloe but almost among all the designer brands that have come up um, in the recent years. This is one of the best designs hands down like ever. And I just love how the shape of the bag is structured. It's kind of like an accordion type of shape. It reminds me of that um, sac de jour from um, Yves Saint Laurent from a couple of years ago. And I still have that bag. I still love that bag. Um, I just really enjoy um, the shape, the look from the side view. And also um, I've got the um, combination leather, which is the suede. Um, on the flat, um, the flap, and the bag, and then the cow skin. You know, just the regular smooth, skin, um, smooth skin um, for the main body of the bag. It's another kind of wow factor for me for this bag. Um, is that this um, hardware here is a mixture of gold and silver? Um, how cool is that? I've never seen any bag like this before, frankly speaking. In my all my years of handbag collection, this is the first time. Um, you know the this part. If you can see, I don't know if the camera can focus. Oh, and by the way, I've got a new um, better camera since you guys are complaining about my li my lighting and the quality of the film. So I'm improving. <laughs> um, so the let me just try to focus here. So the metal here is made of this. Um, faded gold and it's really heavy the sound sounds great too and then this chain part is made of the same color but except for this little part you know the the clip clip or whatever you want to call it it's completely silver so it creates this nice contrast not a huge contrast though but it's nice contrast between um the different colors of the metal so if you're a person who love to wear you know different colors of metal at the same time which I do which I don't mind um, this is a great thing because you don't have to be worrying about you know changing your necklaces or rings or bracelet to a different color according to what bag you're wearing on a daily basis so that's kind of you know hassle saving in a way um, <clears throat> so that's what the bag from the outside looks like and then if you open it, um, it looks like a flat bag, but no, it has ton of space in it. And it has two main compartments, um, and it fits a lot. I mean, it's a sneak peek into what I have in my bag. Um, I have like basically everything that I need, including like a notebook. And then the pretty big size, um, you know, like um, pencil case and everything else. Um, so I'll just quickly go through what I have without going into too, too details uh, to kind of give you guys um, an idea how much this bag can fit. And by the way, this is um, large, large size if I haven't mentioned before. So yeah, first of all, of course I have my phone and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous phone case. It's made of, um, it's made of real marble that I just got. And this is inspired by uh, one of my best, um, my favorite YouTubers in here. Her name is Tamara Jaro. I'll link her um, videos down below, but she is the best uh, makeup and fashion KOL on YouTube, I think. 
I love her style so I saw her video and I just immediately got this one um, in here luckily we have this brand in here too this is a pricey um, um, phone case but it's really well made and the quality the marble feels great um, so that's that and also I have my uh, Damien Graphite um, six ring holder, six key holders. And right here I've just got my wallet. Um, I've been using this wallet for almost three years. Um, it's just a um, very simple Goyard wallet. And it has um, six different um, card slots in here. A lot of space and then, you know, cash and just everything like that. And I, I just love the green and then the yellow inside. Yeah, I think it's a very nice um, color combo. And then the surface feels great, the texture of it. I'll go into details in another video if you guys want to see that. Um, and also I have my um, If So Long um, what do you call it, card holder again. A lot of car holders because I've noticed myself um, sizing down to like little smaller car holders instead of big wallet. I'm just not a fan of those like longer full size big wallets anymore. I think it's just not practical. And then if I want to grab a quick lunch, get, get a coffee, um, you know, just in between work time, these kind of things. Even this, you know, with your cards and keys and maybe one credit card in it, it's just so much handier. So I prefer these, um, you know, smaller ones these days. And then I have my, I think this one is from Vera Bradley. I got it very recently in my last trip to, to the States. Uh, it was on sale and I thought the print was cute. So I just have my um, very essential daily necessities you know like personal grooming stuff here I have my hand cream I have my like fingernail trim um, lotion and then my eye drops as always my um, um, lip balm and then my like inhaler just to wake myself up when I feel sleepy so yeah, I don't carry a lot with me, um, and I don't even wear much makeup these days. I just want to kind of make my life easier and then just be ready to grab stuff and go. Um, and then I have some tissue paper here, and then this um, Tom Ford Noir, Noir de Femme. I don't know how to pronounce that in French, obviously. Um, but um, it's just a perfume that I've been using recently. It's a very... Um, very good perfume. Um, smells very sexy and grown up, sophisticated in the same time. Uh, I think it's more suitable for nighttime. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells, you know, like, like a well educated, well spoken person in a way. So, love that. Um, so, that's pretty much for my first, um, first compartment. And you can see I already have all these things in it so it fits a lot and then going to the second one I have a very funny I have a post-it sticking on the side of my bag just um, the kind of things I reminded myself to do to finish from yesterday I always had these kind of you know funny little things in my bag um, and then I have this um, <clears throat> pen case which I just got yesterday last night actually from Hey um, it's the brand called Hey H A Y I love this brand it's um it's a Danish brand very delicate um, well designed you know just stationaries um, also furniture and all kinds of little cute things um, that you can use in a daily life you know just pretty much a very Scandinavian um, lifestyle brand so if you guys have that in your country I suggest you check it out but it's just a very cute very pigmented special um, blue paired up with this gorgeous burgundy lining and with this faded gold um, zipper line which I just love I love this color combo very much and inside of it I just have my um, I just have my pen um, it's also made out of wood and gold 
and I have my pencil. This one's called Swiss one. I, by the way, I've been on a um, friends about just you know wooden pencils, and I just buy a lot of like higher quality pencils. For some reason, I prefer writing stuff with a pencil, but like a nicer one. Like this one smells absolutely gorgeous. But I know you you guys can smell it. But this one smells like authentic coffee beans. So every time I hold it in my hand and write something, I just smell coffee and it just kind of wake me up mentally. So, and I have my um, earphones. Another uh, ball pen from Hay, and it's just this uh, gradient rainbow kind of design. Very slim. It looks really nice when you're holding your hand. Um, some more pencils. And then I have a random mascara from here. So that's what I have in here. And also I have this very old um, Louis Vuitton business card holder. And um, yeah, it's just a goody OD that I've been using for almost five or six years. Inside of it, it's just this very nice um, hot pink lining. Love that. <clears throat> and then I also have this um, very handy notebook. It's also from Hey, by the way. They make tons of very cute, like these thing, um, ready to carry in your bag type of um, notebook. So I just write random stuff, you know. I'm a very, I'm an old fart, so I don't keep my notes in my computers. I mean, work notes, of course, but these ones are from my book readings and just daily like random thoughts and ideas I just quickly write them down just in case some of them turn into a great business idea or you know whatever in the future so yeah I do that some more tissue paper and then in this um, little zipper compartment it's um, I just have my gum and you know not interesting to show you guys but yeah that's pretty much it that's all the things I have in my bag. As you guys can see, it's a lot. Um, and um, I, I don't know, I just really love this bag. It looks slim. And then it looks very, again, sophisticated, like a grown-up type of woman's bag. Um, and it's also um, masculine with a, just a tiny bit of feminine touch. Uh, one of my colleagues um, said that it goes well with, like, a pair of cowboy boots and some really badass like big buckle kind of belt and I highly agree and I don't know you can just dress up with this one with the dress and um, the skirt or a like, nice pair of heels and you can also definitely dress it down to um, you know with jeans shirts um, tank tops anything you want but overall it's just a very versatile bag and um, I kind of prefer carrying this bag this way. It just creates this nice, um, I don't know, like fashion week kind of look without being too, too, um, you know, like, um, well, it's basically just effortlessly fashionable to me. And then if you want, you can also wear it um, like this. It's very casual looking too. I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'7", so it looks a bit funny on me. But if you're a shorter person, I guess it's going to go um, lower to your, like, um, you know, below your waist. So that kind of looks better. But generally, people just carry it like this, which I think is super cool, too. Yeah.